Rachel Moore here. I'm here with um, the Life Group and excited about sharing another topic with you. And today I'm actually going to be sharing one of uh, Napoleon Hill's uh, success principles called Cosmic Habit Force. And I think you will be benefit benefit a lot from it because you're going to be able to recognize some of your habits that are whether good or bad and how uh, this law, this natural law that's actually in effect can uh, either help you or, or cause um, things to, to go in a different direction than what you desire. Cosmic Habit Force is actually a natural law that compensates for causes and effects. Now we can look at our life and see a lot of the effects, results that we're getting in our life and those results are effects. When you go back and kind of roll the curtains back, there are some things that has taken place that's caused those effects to take place. Uh, it could be a habit, um, an incident, something actually caused the effect and results that we're getting. So we're going to look at a little bit more detail on what things that we've created over time, whether it be a, you know, a good habit or a bad habit, and how the cosmic habit force actually relates and causes these effects to take place in our life. So what exactly is that? You know, as a human being, we can break the habits by establishing um, that are established by cosmic habit force. You know, if there are certain things and effects that we don't like that we're seeing in our life, we can break those habits. We can break that force that's been established. And we do that by setting up new habits of our own choice, by breaking the old habits and old patterns that we don't like we can begin to set in place the uh, response and to cause a new effect to take place in our life. Cosmic Habit Force actually fixes the pattern so that every form of vegetation reproduces after its own kind and own pattern. And that's the same force that you see with plants and vegetation. Uh, an oak tree produces an oak tree, strawberry bush, actually produces strawberries and that same force that we see that same natural law is in place is set in place to establish the effects that we're seeing in our life that are consistent the human mind is focused on a definite purpose so when if if we fix our minds on a definite purpose cosmic habit force will take places and and begin to work in our favor and it immediately begin to take action and attract those the material equivalent of the purpose that we've intended in our heart so that's powerful that's that's really a powerful statement that if we fix our mind on a certain definite major purpose in life then that same natural force or natural law will begin to work in our favor and begin to help us to achieve that particular purpose. Cosmic habit force expresses itself through, uh, through the emotion of sex in, by a means to help procreation to, to continue, to actually reproduction to happen. And that lets you know, you know, when you think about that emotion, that's really a strong, powerful emotion. But it's that powerful so that it can cause species to connect and to want to reproduce for that to happen. Um, but that same force and that same power, that same strength that you see um, they're working to reproduce is the same force that causes our, um, that works behind our habits. And that's why it's so sometimes it's tough to break a habit. It's tough to break an old habit that's negative because you've got this uh, force that's actually, you put a set of pattern to, pattern there now it's become almost permanent so you got to go and break it you got to go through a, a sequence of a chain of steps to actually cause uh, something else to take place versus what you've been seeing in the past now one of the things that Napoleon Hill talked about also was like success and how some people seek success successful people they consider them on the beam and they said you know those who enjoy success have established a certain success thought pattern in their minds. And 
cosmic habit force actually picks and carries out that logical conclusion that, okay, they say that they're successful, they think that they're successful, well, that's going to be their, de their, their definite end. And because they really believe this, this is going to be what's going to happen. They're going to attain that definite end. And likewise, if we keep our minds busy in carrying out our purpose instead of allowing it to drift on subjects that we wish to avoid, then we'll get the same type of results. We'll start seeing more success in our life. So the key here is, is not to allow your thoughts to drift off to something that's unbeneficial, to something that you saw on the news, something that you heard someone say in the, at, at, you know, at work or just in passing. Keep your mind focused on the things that matter. It's going to really help you get to the results that you desire. So you can see the effects that you want versus focusing on, well, what, you know, the causes. You're going to put the, put the right things in place now so that you can get the effects and desires result. And you are actually on the beam of success when, when you say in your mind and you think this and you say it out loud, I know precisely what I want from life and I have the faith that I will get it. I know precisely what I want from life and I have the faith that I will get it. Now there is a negative side to the cosmic habit force and it's basically a negative application of that, of that force in operation which is called hypnotic rhythm. Now hypnotic rhythm actually would attract, attract all of the undesirable things or undesirable circumstances uh, which your mind is allowed to dwell upon. So if you allow your mind to think on failure, to think on lack, not having enough, all those type things, then what's going to happen is you're going to begin to attract those same things in your life because this hypnotic rhythm is basically going to be in, in action such as, you know, you're thinking about poverty, ill health, failure, fear, fear, all those undesirable things. You don't want those taking place in your life. So you've got to learn how to turn things around. And a person that has no definite major purpose um, and they're kind of drifting aimlessly through life, they're definitely on the opposite side of the beam of success. They're they they're allowing themselves to go down and they have no they wake up without a purpose and you want to live life then more than just being here so it's time to renew and begin to have more thoughts about what is it why are you here purpose destiny all, all those things can begin to work together but we're going to focus on some of the good habits that you can start putting in your life to start seeing more results and start seeing um, greater things happening in your life. Now, people who who are failures, basically, they're on the negative side of, of that beam that we're talking about of success because they, they truly neglect to use what God gave them when they were born, which is to take possession of their own mind and say, I believe and I can do this and have faith and know that all things are possible to whom who, who if you believe so take possession of your own mind meaning control your thoughts decide today that you're going to begin to think of you know change your thought patterns to be more successful to get more of your desired results in your life fixations now fixations um, as we learn to develop fixations in, in our minds uh, based on the things that you desire, it, it's, it's the same thing that I was just speaking about. You focus your thoughts on the things that you want versus the things that you don't want in your life. And you create a thought pattern based on those things that you want in your life. And when you do that, um, you can also fixate your thoughts on a major purpose. You know, what, what particular goal are you after right now? You can say, that's, a, that's your, one of your major purposes. I have multiple pur purposes, purposes uh, and desires that I have for different areas of my life. So I have certain thoughts that I think about when I think about my family, certain thoughts that I have in my mind when I think about success and have a successful business, 
successful profession, you know, great health. Um, I have certain thoughts that I constantly repeat in my mind so that I can achieve these kind of results in my life. And basically, you're taking possession of your own mind and you're keeping it directed on the attainment of that major purpose. And in the negative sense, you know, people can fix their thoughts on the wrong thing. And they can fix it on sickness and they can become sick or feel like there is no solution, there's no help, there's no healing process. and uh, for for me in this and they begin to think that it's a permanent thing and when you think that way you actually are allowing this cosmic habit force to make that fixation permanent in your body so if you're feeling and experiencing some things that you don't want to happen in your body begin to change the way you think about it change your perspective begin to see things differently and you're going to begin to experience different results so what is the major element uh, to help you move forward uh, and create new habits or create positive habits that's going to make, um, make you more successful in all areas of your life? Well, your mental attitude is something that you can control. You have the right and you have the power to control your own mind. If, you use, if we use self-discipline, we can create a thought pattern or thought habits which will keep our mental attitude in a positive state at all times and that's one of the things that you have to begin to take steps baby steps even if you have to 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 discipline yourself to think in a more positive sense and so that you can start getting better results in your life so your mental attitude acts as a magnet literally that attracts everything in every circumstance that you want and that you are today. So if you want to change who you are and what you see, begin to think different. Begin to see yourself different. See yourself as successful versus uh, as being rejected or being, you know, shut out of a job and shut out of a, um, a promotion that you've seen as glass ceiling. Remove that thought and start seeing yourself excelling beyond that. And lastly, you know, I want you to take an inventory of your own habits right now. You know, whether they be good or bad or ugly, you know, decide, look at them and decide, okay, what's working for me and what's not working for me? What's good that I need to keep doing? What's not working for me? What's bad that I need to change? You can kind of look at the results that you're getting in different areas and you say, okay, this is not the, the effect that I want to see in my life. I want to change the cause. What habit is causing this? So let's change this thing. Let's start today. Take that inventory and start taking a step forward in the right direction. Now I want to close by offering you um, my Manifest More of Your Dreams training program. And in that program, you're going to learn the specific techniques that I actually use to keep a positive mental attitude at all times. And you're going to learn the specific methods that I use to get more, more done to get more, more results at a shorter time, time frame. It's to help, it's more one of the, my productivity tools that I share with you. And then you're gonna learn the methodology behind manifesting your dreams and goals on a consistent basis. You want to see results and things happen in your life ongoing, not just one time and here and one time there, but you wanna con see con something consistent taking place. And I show you the methodology behind it, what I actually do in my life and, and how I'm getting consistent results and what I call everyday miracles. Literally things just begin to show up that you desire, things that you that you have really been working toward and envisioning, visual, visualizing things start happening. And a lot more, a lot of other things are shared in this training program that's gonna help you manifest more of your dreams, it's gonna help you get better desired results, living a more happy and fulfilled life and even discovering some purpose, more purpose and destiny in your life. So. Um, it's going to teach you how to even influence your destiny. Some of the key things to that and what you can do to um, see yourself in a, in a greater sense of in pur a purpose in this world. I want you to go to my website, moreofrachel.com, and on there you'll see a tab that says invest. Basically, when you're getting one of these training programs, you're making a small, small, minor investment. Uh, financially into your own 
goals, into your own future, into your purpose and where you want to go. But you would go to that invest special offer tab and on there you'll see more information about the manifest more of my dreams training program and I look forward to working with you and this is an audio training program you can download it right to your computer right to your uh, digital device and begin to listen at the training modules you also be able to download the the outlines that comes along with it and really begin to start moving forward even on a more um, accelerated basis so I'm excited for you and look forward to working with you contact me you'll see all the information on the website just search around and and see what others are saying about the program as well I encourage you to take advantage of it it's gonna help you in the place that you're in right now to see more results and live a, even a more fulfilling life so I'm excited that you're listened in on this and I look forward to seeing more things happening in your life as you create better habits and, and, and begin to allow the cosmic habit force take you to where you desire to go. So until next time, mind your vision and faith works when you work it.